Explorers have dreamt for centuries of a fountain of youth, with healing waters that rejuvenate the old and extend life indefinitely. Researchers at the University of Rochester, however, have uncovered more evidence that the key to longevity resides instead in the gene. In a new paper published in the journal Cell, the researchers including Vera Gorbanova and Andrei Selyuanov, professors of biology, Dirk Bauman, professor of biomedical genetics, and their team of students and postdoctoral researchers found that the gene Sirtuin 6, Sirt6, is responsible for more efficient DNA repair in species with longer lifespans. The research illuminates new targets for anti-aging interventions and could help prevent age-related diseases. Inevitable Double Strand Breaks As humans and other mammals grow older, their DNA is increasingly prone to breaks, which can lead to gene rearrangements and mutations hallmarks of cancer and aging. For that reason, researchers have long hypothesized that DNA repair plays an important role in determining an organism's lifespan. While behaviors like smoking can exacerbate double-strand breaks DSBs, in DNA, the breaks themselves are unavoidable. They are always going to be there, even if you're super healthy, says Bauman. One of the main causes of DSBs is oxidative damage and, since we need oxygen to breathe, the breaks are inevitable. Organisms like mice have a smaller chance of accumulating double-strand breaks in their comparatively short lives, versus organisms with longer lifespans, Bauman says. But, if you want to live for 50 years or so, there's more of a need to put a system into place to fix these breaks. The Longevity Gene SIRT6 is often called the longevity gene because of its important role in organizing proteins and recruiting enzymes that repair broken DNA. Additionally, mice without the gene age prematurely, while mice with extra copies live longer. The researchers hypothesize that if more efficient DNA repair is required for a longer lifespan, organisms with longer lifespans may have evolved more efficient DNA repair regulators. Is SIRT6 activity therefore enhanced in longer-lived species? To test this theory, the researchers analyzed DNA repair in 18 rodent species with lifespans ranging from 3 years, mice, to 32 years, naked mole rats and beavers. They found that the rodents with longer lifespans also experience more efficient DNA repair because the products of their SIRT6 genes the SIRT6 proteins are more potent. That is, SIRT6 is not the same in every species. Instead, the gene has co-evolved with longevity, becoming more efficient so that species with a stronger SIRT6 live longer. The SIRT6 protein seems to be the dominant determinant of lifespan, Bauman says. We show that at the cell level, the DNA repair works better, and at the organism level, there is an extended lifespan. The researchers then analyzed the molecular differences between the weaker SIRT6 protein found in mice versus the stronger SIRT6 found in beavers. They identified five amino acids responsible for making the stronger SIRT6 protein more active in repairing DNA and better at enzyme functions, Gorbanova says. When the researchers inserted beaver and mouse SIRT6 into human cells, the beaver SIRT6 better reduced stress-induced DNA damage compared to when researchers inserted the mouse SIRT6. The beaver SIRT6 also better increased the lifespan of fruit flies versus fruit flies with mouse SIRT6. Species with even more robust SIRT6? Although it appears that human SIRT6 is already optimized to function, we have other species that are even longer lived than humans, Selyuanov says. Next steps in the research involve analyzing whether species that have longer lifespans than humans like the bowhead whale, which can live more than 200 years have evolved even more robust SIRT6 genes. Another study is from Dutch scientists. Scientists in Rotterdam claim for the first time to have found a gene that specifically affects how old people look. The gene came to light when researchers noticed that people who carried mutations in the gene appeared, on average, two years older than they were. The work, if verified, could help scientists unpick at the molecular level how people's faces change with time, and ultimately develop ways to slow down the most visible effects of aging. 
This is the first gene we have found for perceived age, and this single gene has an effect of two years, said Manfred Kaiser, professor of forensic molecular biology at Erasmus Medical Center in Rotterdam. We know there are others out there. We are just at the beginning. Scientists have long known that people appear to age at different rates, and that genes and lifestyle are both involved. Smoking and too much UV from sunlight speed up skin aging, but the genetics at work in looking old, or young, have so far proved elusive. Working with scientists from Unilever, Kaiser asked a group of observers to estimate the ages of nearly 3,000 people who had provided pictures of their faces and DNA for what is called the Rotterdam study. He found that people consistently rated women as being older than their years, and men as being younger. The finding might reflect the media's obsession with images of young women, suggested one scientist who was not involved in the work. But that was not the study's main result. After scouring the people's genomes, Kaiser found that variations in one gene, called MC1R, were more common in those who looked old for their age. To check the finding, he repeated the search in two other groups of people, one in Netherlands, the other in the UK. The MC1R gene, which is responsible for red hair, cropped up again. The scientists next looked at how the gene might be working. As well as producing red hair, the MC1R gene is responsible for pale skin. With pale skin comes more susceptibility to sun damage and wrinkles. But writing in the journal Current Biology, the scientists claimed that the effect of the gene remained even when they ruled out skin color, wrinkles, and sun exposure. There are two things we don't know, what part of perceived age does it influence, and how does it do it, said Kaiser. As ever, more work is needed. David Gunn, a scientist at Unilever, said that understanding why some people look young for their age could help the company develop products to keep people younger looking for longer. But Unilever is not a drugs company, and any product that intervened with the aging process on the genetic level would likely be classed as a drug, and require clinical trials and approval from national regulators before it would be allowed on the market. But Kaiser said the work has implications beyond face creams and other cosmetics. By finding more genes involved in perceived age, we can better understand the relationship between how old you look and how healthy you are, he said. It is a different approach to understanding healthy aging. Ian Jackson, a geneticist at Edinburgh University, said it was hard to know whether the scientists had properly ruled out the role of skin color. If MC1R affects how old people look through its effects on skin, with paler people looking younger, the results are far less intriguing. Another question also comes up when people are asked to rate the age of others. Are you really measuring how old people look, or are you measuring the psychology of the observer? He said. Julia Newton Bishop, professor of dermatology at Leeds University, said that while the scientists rule out the effect MC1R has on skin's resistance to sun rays, it was difficult to rule this out. It is true that MC1R does have many complex effects on skin cells, but I don't think that the study establishes additional mechanisms, said said. It merely suggests that the effects may not all be related to the sun. As the face ages, it changes in many ways. The appearance of wrinkles might be the most obvious sign, but there are others, the lips become thinner, and the cheeks sag, emphasizing the two creases that run from the sides of the nose to the edges of the mouth. Joao Pedro de Magalhães, who studies the genetics of aging at Liverpool University, said the study was fascinating. MC Winner has been genetically associated with UV-induced skin damage, skin features like pigmentation, freckles and age spots, and with skin cancer. So it is perhaps not surprising that this gene plays a role in perceived age, he said. I suspect larger studies will uncover many other genetic variants and this is only the beginning for this line of research. This could certainly open up new research directions for exploring clinical applications by targeting MC1R. As I am sure you are aware, there is a massive cosmetics industry focused on anti-aging, 